We've used the term before. I basically invented the term, Chris, stochastic terrorism. What, Chris? I didn't invent it, okay, but I read it in the dictionary, and that's almost like inventing it. Anyway, but what is it? It means people at the top of a society, the, uh, the leaders, the elected officials, business leaders, and whatnot, they will constantly use language that they know will prompt a response from the dregs of society. But what, what does that look like? Well, let's say I was president. I was president of the United States of America. And I got up there and I said, hey, <clears throat> these people are destroying our society. And if they aren't stopped now, America will end and puppies will die. And who am I talking about? Left-handed people. If somebody doesn't do something to these left-handed savages, then... All the puppies are going to die, and probably the people too. Now, what did I just do? You're, you would hear that. I, I'd be, okay, it, it, let's assume I was serious for a moment. You would hear that, and you would kind of roll your eyes and think that seems like a little too much, or maybe you would even follow along because you realize left-handed people are basically disabled, but you wouldn't want to do anything, but you're a person with an above-average IQ. Think about the guy out there that with an IQ that's like Chris. And he sits around all day and he, he's upset and he watches too much of the news and he has nothing to live for and everything sucks. And then he hears Jesse, who, of course, he admires because he's a world famous author. He hears Jesse say, wow, those left handed savages, I better go get one of them. And then he acts on that. The reason we've had so much violence from communists against people on the right since Trump's election and actually before Trump's election. They've murdered Trump supporters across this country. Assaults, murders. Remember there's that one Breitbart article that chronicles like 350 violent incidents. Communists, now the media's covered it up so nobody knows, but violent. Why does this keep happening? Well, pay close attention to Representative Jayapal of Washington. I think there would be a huge backlash from our entire uh, House Democratic, you know, caucus, certainly the progressives, but also in the streets. You know, I mean, I think that this is, it's important that we don't take steps back from the very strong agenda that the president himself shepherded. She's being asked about the debt ceiling fight. And did you hear what she said? A debt ceiling fight. We're talking about debts and cutting spending and, and things like that. Did you hear what she said? In case you missed it, I'll play it I again. I think there would be a huge backlash from our entire uh, House Democratic you know, caucus, certainly the progressives, but also in the streets. You know, I mean, I think that this is... In the streets? There's going to be a backlash in the streets? Do you think she said that accidentally? No, of course not. That's once again, they've done it a million times. They keep doing it because remember, these are soulless monsters who want to hurt you. She keeps saying these things. Democrats keep saying these things because they know the street scum on the bottom, the Antifa types, the BLM types will act on these things. That is stochastic terrorism. You're living in it. The president of the United States giving up, getting up and giving that. Remember that primetime address? It was all in black with the red lights behind him. Repeatedly, repeatedly calling the Republicans, calling his political opponents threats to democracy. You're a threat to democracy. They're threats to democracy. Why? Well, let's say I'm a worthless piece of Antifa trash laying around in my apartment I share with 19 other people, nothing to live for, just finished my 12th day in a row of Top Ramen, and I'm a card-carrying communist because someone handed me Karl Marx's book one time, and I hear the president say that maybe I want a purpose in life. Maybe I want a mission. Maybe I'm tired of eating Top Ramen, even though Top Ramen's delicious. Maybe I'm ready to fight against evil. And so you step out, and you go do something violent. It's exactly what these people want. Do you enjoy watching that? Would you like some more of me? <laughs> Good. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will enjoy it.